Well, hello everyone. It is Friday, August the 26, 2022. I am Del Delbridge, Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. This is your status chat. And guess what? If I've calculated the calendar just right, next week we'll have NCAA football. SEC football will start. And we've got a lot of good games going to start. Of course, the first one during the year is usually the one that kind of sets the pace for the rest of the year, the, the little setups that we have. And we'll get to that. We'll talk about that in the future. But right now, let's get to that middle segment. Well, welcome to the middle segment. Normally in a middle segment, either I bring you original content, something I have produced, or we look at things from the internet, we have a little discussion. It's kind of a little more of a monologue than a dialogue, but we can always get it started there in the status chat and we talk personally one-on-one. -on -one. Now, when I bring you something from the internet, I like to provide that full link or links in the description of the status chat over on my YouTube channel where the status chat lives. And I will ask you, please subscribe to that channel click the notification bell because sometimes, although I shoot for a Friday posting, sometimes when on Friday it gets posted is a function of how detailed we go or maybe some other scheduling function. So it's not exactly the same time every day. So let's look at this. Now we're always hearing people say they're talking about the crash, they're talking about inflation and everything going up and we're wondering is it a time to buy or not? Well, this article, Redfin News, is an old one. September 3rd, 2020 by Miss Dana Anderson. Now, I'm not going to read her article because that's not what I'm using this for. What I want is this handy dandy little, little interactive graph she has set up here. Now, when we talk about doing a, a purchase, and this also works if you're looking to sell because you're selling that somebody has to buy it. Most of us are constrained by finances. We're just not independently wealthy. We may be extraordinarily blessed and gorgeous, but we may not be rolling in the dough. So what limits us obviously is how much house payment we can afford to spend. That's why I need to get you into seeing some kind of a mortgage originator, either someone of your choice or my choice or whoever, whoever you want to look at just to get you started. Now we have Bond Mortgage that works with us kind of a sister company to benchmark and we can do that get you as someone who will take your information do a, do a credit app and just see where things sit today because it's subject to change in fact during this process it may have to be updated more regularly depending on how long it takes to match you up with the property so let's look over here at this this redfin story this assumes this particular chart is an illustration and they give it to us at 20 percent down do you have 20 percent down Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe we have more proceeds from a previous sale or you're sitting on something somewhere. But these things are going to affect your numbers specifically. But this just illustrates the trend. 30-year mortgage, 1.25 property taxes, 0.5% uh, homeowner's insurance rate, no HOA dues. We always have to get this down to brass tax when we get real serious. But what is this for? As you know, interest rates have gone through the roof because we have spent a bunch of money and that's caused inflation and what the administration has to control inflation is raising the federal reserve the banking rates those type of things get that rate up slow the economy down to drop some demand to get some things coming back down we know we're changing mortgage rates people want to know are the mortgage rates likely to teeter back down because we've been low for so long i would say i'll bet you a burger they won't come down anytime soon probably not back down to where we have been enjoying them the last couple of years for a long long time because we still have the money supply out there we still have the original conditions so they're going to keep rates higher what effect does that have well let's go back over and look at our our chart well do you remember if we were looking say at a two thousand dollar payment say that's where we're capped these are in, in measurements of $500 per month. But let's go to the $2,000 payment, the green line, and let's go around that, that 285. At 285 and a $2,000 payment, if you had 20% down on a 30-year loan at this, this situation, you could afford about a $420,000 house. Now we're somewhere further down the line. Let's go see where we are. This is another sign I use. Of course, Mortgage News Daily. This is just 30 year and we take a daily rate of it. And here we see the blue line, brown and orange in that chart shows you how much volatility they have. 
But at any given day, this is what it is. So today, August 26th, Mortgage News Daily says it's at 5.73. MBA and Freddie Mac are weeklies, and they're a little bit, little bit lower. So let's go back to that chart and say, you still have that $2,000 house payment, and you want to go to that 5.73. Well, I got it 5.75. Now you can't buy that $400,000 house. You can only buy a $326,000 house, plus or minus, right? So let's talk about your strategy, if you have that, of let's wait. I don't want to push you into buying a house you're not ready to buy, you don't want to buy. But the reality is interest rates are probably going to continue up especially since we expect, since the Federal Reserve Chairman has already dog whistled us that we're going to get another three quarter percent in September. It's ending August, is coming up. September follows in about mid, mid month is when we see that. So let's go back to our chart where we were. All right, so if we're at 573, somewhere in, in, in there, all right, let's add another three quarter point to that and make it six and a quarter six and a half right and a three quarter point so what happens when we hit six and a half now you get a 300 whoop got to drop down to the green line now you're down to almost three hundred thousand dollars do you believe in the next two three weeks that you're going to see a home that you want to buy drop down by twenty thousand dollars that's a pretty quick drop. And what does that get to us? Well, be quite honest, it gets us to the 110 rule. This is something to keep in mind. For every rule of thumb, for every 1% of interest rate, you get 10% less home. So we're pretty confident that the interest rates are going to go up. But people who currently have homes are not wanting just to give them away cheaper. So we're going to have it a little harder to find a home that we can fit you into. So Fannie Mae says that home buyer sentiment is at a very low rate right now. It's actually trending way down. I would suggest that we talk and actually look at some numbers and things. Let's see where you are, see what's possible, and see if it really makes sense for you to wait. Maybe you can't pull the trigger now, but if you can, now we need to discuss should you based upon what we think the future might hold. Ultimately, it's your decision. But you can go back to that chart and see what it looks like. You can see the trend. It's going to go down. You're going to be able to buy less and less house, obviously, as the price of money goes up, the interest rate goes up. Well, how can you just poke around? Here at the bottom, I have a handy-dandy little affordability calculator. You can plug your numbers in and say, okay, well, right now I have this. This is my best guesstimate for a $2,000 house note. If I had $125,000 family income uh, of the monthly debts, that's why you need to talk to someone like at Bond. I can get you somebody who can look at it. These are probably going to turn out to be your monthly required payments, not necessarily your food and your electricity and what all, but your actual committed debts. Then we have a down payment. Do you happen to have $25,000, which would be 20% in this, this case? Okay, if you don't, we need to look at some other things to see what we can get you in for. And that's why we've got to get you to talking to someone with mortgages first to find out what, what we can shop for. Now, then we have the 5.73. Now, right here, you can go, well, if we're going to get, if we expect in September another three quarters percent and it were to go to our mortgage rates, if we were to see that same percentage growth in our mortgage rate, that would be 6.5. Now, you see we drop down to $260,000. Do you see what the cost of waiting is? So, I'm not here to beat you up. I'm here to help. And you know what you need to do if you if you want to help you call dell to sell call dell to buy you have my information running at the bottom of this let's actually talk hello i'm dell delbridge of benchmark realty murfreesboro tennessee if you are currently unrepresented and would like to know how to compare up to three properties side by side and room by room then go over to my new youtube channel call dell to sell that's one l and dell no spaces watch the demo on real scout and then call me and we'll set up your exclusive ad free account today now that we got that out of the way, what does it tell you? 
uh, we don't know and we'll never know if we are have paralysis by analysis if we're going to sit out here and look and say oh my gosh i don't know i'm going to try to time the market maybe i i think it's going to it's going to crash and i'll pick up a bargain but then what are our interest rates going to do what kind of condition am i going to be in financially to pull something off at that time maybe the standard credit standards change and they require a a higher level of credit than you do have maybe your credit's low and you don't have a choice right now or maybe you don't have the down payment let's get the ball rolling now last week let's look at our numbers last week 8 19 2022 we had 16,429 opportunities in real scout system that went up over the previous period we had 4,121 in the under contract still showing that also increased slightly last week and we stayed at 25 percent over the previous week this week 8 26 22 we had 16,705 in the opportunities which was an increase over the previous week we had 4198 in the under contract still showing that also increased just a little bit and guess what the ratio remained at 25 percent for the third week running so here's the thing the first thing you need to do to get toward finishing is getting started. Let's do that today. Call me, Dale Delbridge, Benchmark Realty.